Oh, my lovely YouTubers. Wow, what have we got here? Okay, this is from Plymouth in Cornwall. Um, I'd love to know if any of you recognise what this is. I mean, I have Googled a lot of this stuff. This is actual parachute straps, and I've actually put them on the wire wheel to bring them up a bit better. These are my favourites. These are a safety release, I would have thought. One half I've put on the wheel and brought back up. But they actually, um, well, they should do. There you go. When I picked the first one up, it popped open like that, and I thought I'd broke it in half. But we've got pieces of aircraft. Not too sure what that one is. Great if you could tell us. Now, this is off where they used to have seaplanes. I've had that one on the wheel. Now is that bronze or is it brass? Um, this was just a big blob. When we got it, it just looked like a big blob. And I managed to put it on the wheel and clean it up. Any of these other things people recognise? Whether they're pieces of aircraft or something, I'm not sure. It's quite a selection of goodies. Possibly a seat belt. Seat belt with some description. Same with these ones. Although this is quite this is interesting. I mean this is lead. And I wondered whether it was part of a intricate lead window. And it was just it was just one piece. And of course, Plymouth has been used by seafarers. And this was um, quite an interesting one. An RAF button. How awesome is that? That was one of my faves. Now this is obviously a hook. For hooking in ropes and stuff. What else got it? Here's an interesting one. I think this is... I don't know whether it would be a HD lead coming out of there. I'd love to know if anyone knew what this was. Possibly aircraft parts. Same with this one. It's an interesting valve type mechanism in there. These are, I've actually googled these, polished that one up on the wheel. These are actually parachute clips. There's quite a lot of them. All these types of parachute clips. What else we got here? That's that lead thing, bracket. Some interesting sorts of collet type things. No markings, none at all. Molten bit of alloy. More clips, more parachute clips. Quite a big clip there. Don't recognise any of the markings. More pieces, these are from today, funnily enough. Some I've actually put on the wheel and started to clean up. These are just what you find. No metal detector in used. Just digging about. More bits of parachute stuff. Interesting brackets here. These are a bronze of some description. I'd love to know what all these strange pieces are. This is an interesting one as well. It's threaded. I mean these absolutely could be anything. And this, I think, is um cables used on aircraft. So for Whenever you needed to make something, any of the rudders, flaps, or anything move, it was all cables, I think. This one's quite interesting. That almost looks like a hole. Now, would I be wrong to think that a bullet may have gone through there and passed straight through it? There's an interesting collar on there. Same with the other side. But I'll clean these up on the wheel, see if we can't get a mark in in a minute. 
love to know what all these little bits are. Obviously this is parachute strapping. Another bracket. I'll get all these cleaned up in a minute on the wheel. And see what we get. Some are in better condition than others. Can't see any names or markings on them. These are all parachute clips. Parachute clips. I think it's quite interesting. Get the big amalgams like this and take the small bronze hammer to them and chisel them off. So a lot of this stuff. Obviously that's a molten bit of stainless there. That was quite interesting. Don't know what that is yet. Just a square piece of very light. Again, a bit of braided line or something. This is quite cool. I didn't quite know what it was until I turned it over. And I don't know about you, but that looks like a zip to me. But again, I'll get that on the wheel. Buckle. Some description. It should really say something about World War II history, Hunter, really. Yas, this is so exciting. Oh, bullet. Holy Madonna. you got to love World War II history, Hunter. It's great. And there was a piece of this, so, so you get a lot of it. Just like this. So what we're going to do in a minute, we're going to put the hammer to it. Let's see what we get. Obviously there's some nails in there. A fork. Another bracket. Oh, and here's a real question. Okay, obviously a bit of copper wire, but it's insulated with lead. Now I have found a few pieces of copper wire like that. Can anyone sort of tell me why it's, in, it's got lead in it? Um, and I did wonder about that. Is that some form of piston ring? I'd love to know. Put that on the wheel in a minute. So we check these out in a minute and see if um see what we've got. I mean, absolutely fascinating that these these have been in the sea for seventy odd years. Or on the edge of the sea for seventy odd years. And they're still here. Now I don't know whether these were from a a crash. I don't know if it was from a crash and these are pieces that are left that have been burnt or are they pieces that after the war they just thought oh well we don't want any of this stuff anymore and we just um, get rid of it all. So I'd love to know if anyone recognises any of this stuff. It was good fun. And that was the best. I couldn't believe that one. Ah, phenomenal. I'd like to see a piece of a Ford Mondeo still lying around in 70 years. They ain't going to be here, are they? And I think, like I said, that's definitely... That definitely looks like a... A piece of a plane. A rib of some description. Again, no markings. Such a shame, no markings. So, yeah. I'm going to go and put these on the wheel and see what they come out like. So I might do a video for that and I might just show you the stuff at the end. So take care YouTubers, what do you reckon?